Can you believe this is the future of video editing, let alone faceless YouTube channels? Ha ha ha, we are all doomed. Welcome to AI Kitchen. And in this video, I'm going to show you how it's even easier now with using AI technology, combining that with what I like to call the controversial faceless YouTube channel and how people are making thousands of dollars on YouTube by doing this very act. And after I show you the ins and outs of this trick, I also talk about why this is horrendous, horrendous act of creativity. And what does it mean for us fellow real content creators? So faceless YouTube channels where people do not even have to be in front of the camera. Because when you think of YouTube, you think of content creation, you think, oh, turn on my camera, look at my face, look at me, here is what I have to say. For the longest time now, there have been like compilation videos, taking other people's clips and repurposing it, taking B-roll from a movie and adding voiceovers to that and combining that and making a YouTube or a piece of content out of it. Hence the term faceless or there is no person any person can make these types of videos. So what you do first is I'm going to go into chat GPT and tell it, Hey, list me some AI topics where I can make a completely faceless YouTube channel about it. So what chat GPT is going to do is it's going to make me a little dialogue box because I'm going to give it those exact prompts and it's going to give me a bunch of video topics that I can choose from. From there, I'm going to pick one of these AI faceless YouTube channel ideas that this robot has recommended to me. And I'm going to tell chat GPT to write me a script around roughly three to five minute scripts so I can have a voiceover for this video. Next is I'm going to jump off to another website called murph.ai or I can also use voice.ai. I'm not affiliated with any of these websites. I can either one, have my own voice repeat this script that ChatGPT had made, or I can simply do text to speech and put all this dialogue into this website or open source for free. And then it will read out this complete dialogue script that I just, AI just has written and have it in a completely other person's tone of voice. Welcome to AI Kitchen. We ask AI to cook up some of the most unique and delicious recipes you've ever tasted. Our AI system is trained on millions of recipes from around the world. Next is I'm going to use something called Adobe Firefly. And if you have not seen that yet, check out that other video of mine where I talk about how Premiere Pro is having these new AI tools where I can have instantly Premiere AI will generate B-roll clips, sound effects, color grade, all by just hey being like, hey, change this color temperature. Hey, add in B-roll to make this. Hey, make me my own storyboard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that script and that voice AI, compile it into Premiere, and now you're starting to see this piece of content come to life. <clears throat> so you put all that together. What do you have? An AI, a robot generated piece of content that is geared towards YouTube. Welcome to AI Kitchen. We ask AI to cook up some of the most unique and delicious recipes you've ever tasted. Our AI system is trained on millions of recipes from around the world. All I need to do is upload that onto YouTube. I can maybe use Firefly to generate me a thumbnail. YouTube thumbnail image. Maybe I can make it look even better than the ones that humans make. And bada bing, bada boom. That is my AI generated faceless YouTube video. Of course, it's not as smooth as it should be. And this was a little mock trial setup of how you as a creative can implement AI workflow into your own existing creative workspace. Of course, there are other weird AI sites where you can have talking heads and it is a head that will motion capture someone. And it's like almost like what are those streamer things on Twitch where it's like they're they're They have motion capture on, but it's not them, but it's another character. But I, hopefully someone will know what I, I'm talking about. And from there on, 
you just make, you just replicate it. You make another video on another topic. You make another script. You get AI to do that voiceover. Next thing you know, you have a whole catalog and YouTube channel full of YouTube AI generated content. From there, hopefully you pick the right topics, the right niche, and you will start getting your AdSense revenue split. But as you can see, here are the downfalls. There still needs to be a human like myself being the strategist, being the higher level and being like, hey, my little AI assistant, this is what I need you to do. And the horrendous part about this is that this kind of takes away the human aspect of you within you too. And please be aware that this is also a niche, a scary niche where YouTube is starting to crack down on AI generated content. Policies and guidelines are usually lacking behind the forefront of technology, but sooner or later within the community guidelines, there's going to be probably a moderation team that goes around and has their own AI to detect AI. <laughs> it's like, hey, you're not allowed to upload AI generated content or your account will get banned. But until then, there are a lot of channels that already do this without the AI component. You have people that do these little documentary pieces on, you know, the invention of cigars, the invention of the phone. And all it is, is just taking existing B-roll and adding a storyline to it. And they are also outsourcing that to things like Fiverr and Upwork with the voices and the video editors. But now with AI, you take away that outsource piece and then you add AI will do all the editing. AI will do all the voiceovers, where you are just the creative brain behind it. What this means for content is creativity is now so important. Being original, being human, and using AI and incorporating that into your workflow to make your life easier is in demand now. No more minuscule tasks because it's getting outsourced to AI. Now you must be the strategist, the video strategist. Channels like this can horrendously ruin creativity. It can take the fun and you systematize and you robotize, all right? If you're trying to run a business and just simply there for the dollar dollar bill, y'all, when it comes to YouTube and content creation, sure, be my guest. Make a bunch of content that is just for the money and it becomes a business, sure. But as a content creator, as a storyteller, we need more people like me. Well, not me specifically, because there's only one of me, but we need more people that will push the needle creatively and use AI to elevate, to innovate, not necessarily replicate. That's my two cents. And that's my thoughts on these YouTube facelift channels. My name is Peter. You're watching Broke Vision Collective. Link in the description below if you want to learn and actually get video editing clients in this day and age. How do you keep those clients and how do you actually even edit? Everything in the description below. Help me help you. And you're watching Broke Vision Collective where we all start with nothing. But you can always create something. Cheers, guys.